Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today I want to show you how DYDX works. DYDX is basically the biggest decentralized futures exchange, so you can trade derivatives and also call futures there. And it allows you to trade um, certain cryptocurrencies with leverage up to 20x and you can even short cryptocurrencies. And how that works is something that I want to show you in that video. So first of all, DYDX is based on the Ethereum network. So you basically need a MetaMask wallet. So you can use a Chrome browser and then you can basically install MetaMask if you don't have that yet. And then um, you can use that to connect to the exchange. If you don't have a DYDX account yet, I put a link down in the description. If you use that link to use um, the exchange, you are basically saving 5% on trading fees. So first of all, as I already said, um, you only need to connect your MetaMask account with DYDX. You don't need to verify your identity or anything else because it's decentralized. And the other biggest advantage is um, that you are basically staying in charge of your deposits. So you don't have to trust any third party exchange like in the past FDX and they lost most of the customer deposits. That can't happen with DYDX because um, everything is on the blockchain and everything, everyone can follow up and um, where the money actually is and see it. So once you're connected with your MetaMask account to the exchange, you can basically um, start by depositing something on the exchange. And as I already said, it's Ethereum based and they're changing to Cosmos, but that's a whole different story in the future. Um, it's however right now on the Ethereum platform and then you can basically deposit several coins that are based on Ethereum like USDC, a stable coin and backed to the dollar or backed by dollar or Ethereum itself or you can also deposit Chainlink or Matic or some other cryptocurrencies. If you deposit any of the coins you have to realize that um, they get automatically swapped to USDC. So for example, if you want to deposit Ethereum, you can say, okay, I want to deposit one ETH. And then um, you basically just click confirm deposit and then MetaMask asks you to confirm the transaction as well. And it automatically um, swaps the ETH to USDC because um, everything on DYDX is traded against USD or USDC basically. So that's why everything your deposit gets automatically swapped. And if you want to withdraw something, you just click on withdraw. And then again, and you can only withdraw USDC, even if you deposit Ethereum, um, it's still only possible to withdraw USDC. And then you can specify how much you want to withdraw. And then you basically click confirm withdraw. And here you can decide um, how much gas fees you want to pay. So if you don't want to pay as much, you click slow, but then it can take um, a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes longer until you receive your money back. And that's basically it in terms of deposits. If you want to trade and you just go to trade, and then you can basically see the order book here in red all the sell orders and green all the buy orders. You see the price chart here. And of course you can exchange that one candle right now here is one hour. You can change that to four hours or one day or one minute, whatever you like. And then you can basically start trading. And it gives you the option to go long or short. So if you want to go long, so you think the price will go up, you click on buy here. If you want to go short because you think the price will go down, you basically go and click on sell here. And then um, you can basically do a market or a limit order. As you can see, I already deposited something on DYDX. So um, you can see my equity here and I can use up to 20x leverage with Bitcoin against USDC. And they have other markets as well, a bit over 20. And the leverage changes and between the cryptocurrencies. So for example, with Solana, you can only use up to 10x leverage. 
However, um, if we go back to Bitcoin, um, I can use up to 20x leverage. That basically means um, with my almost $300 here, I could trade Bitcoin worth almost um, 6,000 US dollars. And if I want to buy something now, I can just say, okay, I want to buy or open a position here for 100 US dollars. Um, I don't need to specify the leverage because it's still another equity I have. And then I can just click um, place market order or place limit order. Let's do a market order first. Just click there. And then it basically opens up a long position because I bought something, it's a long position. And then you can see unrealized PL profit and loss here. And right now I have a loss of four cents. And because the price went up slightly, it's still going down a bit. And I can, of course, close the position anytime. So you have to understand here that we are trading futures, so you can't really withdraw the bitcoins. You are only buying into a position, so basically a contract. Close that, and now we are back to normal. And I can also do a limit order. I can say, click on USD, I want to invest. 100 US dollars. If the price drops to 26,000 US dollars, then I say place limit order. And you can basically see I put a limit order here. You can see that here. And it's in the order book now where it says um, the amount is not filled. Here the previous amounts were filled. This one is not filled. And it's 26,000 US dollar or the price is 26,000 US dollar. That basically means the order gets filled when the price drops to that level. And if it never drops to that M level, it will stay there for four weeks and then it closes automatically or I can close it anytime I want. And I just did. So that's basically a buy order, a limit order. And of course you can do the same with a sell order. You can say, okay, I want to invest one hundred dollars if the price goes up to thirty thousand US dollars because I think the price will go down then and then place a limit sell order. And that's basically it. Um, when you open a position there's also something called funding and funding is charged every full hour. So basically right now the funding is 0 0.0044 that means the funding is positive. So if you are in a long position, you would be paying this amount every hour. And if you are in a short position, you would basically receive that amount every hour. And funding is basically used to make up for the differences between the people that are short and the people that are long. Right now, more people are long than short. That's why the funding is positive and longs have to pay shorts. And um, funding can also be negative and then um, shorts have to pay long. So if funding is negative and you are long, you would basically receive money. And if you are short with negative funding, you would basically pay the funding. So that's it in terms of funding. And if we look at the fees, um, it's basically free to trade there um, up to 100,000 US dollars per month and there's no taker or no maker fee. If you are trading more than that, you are basically paying 0.02% maker fee and 0.05% taker fee. That's very competitive to all the other big um, future exchanges, the centralized exchanges. And taker and maker basically means you are paying the taker fee if you do a market order that gets filled immediately and you are paying the maker fee when you do a limit order that doesn't get filled immediately. Because with the maker order, you are basically a market maker. So you are providing liquidity to the market because your order gets written into the order book. That's why it's better for the exchange. And with the taker, you are basically taking liquidity away because you are just taking an order out of the order book with your order that gets filled. That's basically it. You can also save a bit um, if you have some DYDX tokens. You can see here if you have um, more than 100 tokens, you can save 3%. And you can also earn some tokens if you 
trade there and then you can see the fees paid here and then it basically estimates a reward that you are getting. So every 28 days they basically give users that are trading on the exchange 1.58 million DYDX tokens and that gets divided by the trading volume that everyone did. So the more you trade the more you are getting here. And that's basically it in terms of DYDX. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to use the comments down below. If you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you are not using DYDX yet, feel free to use the link down below to save 5% on fees. Thanks for watching.